Alrighty, let's see if our Wi-Fi will work for this. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> we will see. Where's my earring? There. Um, how are we all doing? The question will be whether we have sound. I think we do. Hey, Antarctica is here. Um, I just wanted to hop on really quickly. Last minute earring preparations. Um, for... Oh, my t -shirt. I'm having a, I've got this weird thing here, my bits of my belly poking out. So last minute preparations here. I just wanted to hop on and morning, Chanelli. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that, am I? I have to say Chanelli. I'm just about to hop out um, to go and support my sidekick. No, that's not fair, is it? Tommy Robinson. But most importantly, first up, I just wanted to say, hey, where's my blazer? Yes, I just wanted to say um, happy St. George's Day to everybody. And it doesn't matter where you're from. It doesn't matter whether you're English or not. It doesn't matter what you think, where you come from, what you believe and what you don't. Uh, isn't it great just to have a happy day? We can all have a happy St. George's Day. It doesn't matter who you are. So um, that's what I really wanted to say was happy St. George's Day and not to let anything distract from that. You know, there's a lot going on all the time and there's a lot of darkness that I know you all face. So I think it's it. Now, do we want the necklace or don't we? I think we do. Let me know about the necklace, chipmunks. We should celebrate this day, but we don't. Yes, except we do. You see, we get told we don't celebrate it, but we bloody are celebrating it. I'm celebrating it, you are, that's my point. We don't have to be told what we are or aren't doing because we're already friggin' doing it. The other really important thing to know is that we're so many, there's so many of us. There is so many good people out there, who, people who cannot stand a single word that I say, but that want us to be all right. And that's the really important message today. It's not about some dickhead police officer who, I say officer, who lied on paperwork, put Tommy through hell again for the last X number of months, the courts, which are a pantomime, the legal system, which is a farce. It's not about any of that. It's about good people who've had enough and are just about ready to, we're just about ready for whenever it's coming. And believe me, it's coming. <laughs> and I'm ready for it as well. I've been ready for it all of my life. So that was really my message today, was just to go about the place. We talk about this at my um, stand-up gigs. And uh, it's to remember, you, I, I see it in you. I, I see it when I pass you. I see it in the street. You have defiance. I can see it written here. And when you walk about, you, you guys, you walk about like this. Right? You've got this fuck off thing going on, right? You you enter and it's exactly how I go about the place as well it's why people get out of my way because they can feel it this kind of get out of my way or I'll have you <laughs> and uh, that's the energy we're bringing that's the energy that's out there and it's in you just know that I might get it done actually might get a tattoo you have defiance in your bones now and it's a very exciting thing so please know I will bring you more uh, let's go meet Tommy and the lads um, I'm about to go and try and find the inspector that um, falsified and forged documents in order to try and get Tommy in prison. Bear in mind that also sits with Gideon Falter from the campaign against anti-Semitism. I don't give a shit about religion. I don't give a shit about the campaign for whatever right now. One guy, Gideon Falter, is also partly responsible for today because he's the one that said he didn't want Tommy there, which resulted in this bastard inspector forging the paperwork, which nearly ended up with Tommy in prison again now. He packed his prison bag this week. Anyway, that doesn't matter. I'm gonna go and uh, see them. I'm gonna go and try and find the inspector. And he tried to use the idea that he is dyslexic as the reason that he forged the paperwork to try and get Tommy put in prison. So I'm about to go and introduce him to me because I'm massively epileptic, or at least I was. If he wants to see what a full seizure on his ass looks like, 
I'm prepared to bring it. <laughs> okay, thanks to everybody for all your support. Thank you to everybody I'm about to see in the street now that will just go, go on, go on, Hopkins. Thank you to you. I haven't worked out, we talked about this, but I haven't worked out the right response to that, you know? So I'm walking along and people are like, go on, Hopkins. And I'm like, <laughs> I haven't really got a cool, thanks. I don't, what do you do? Yes, I will. Go on, Hopkins. I haven't got a cool response. So I just look a bit like a thalidomide epileptic idiot. But I appreciate you. Appreciate everyone coming out on the road. And the thing we're getting most on Silly Cow is we get all these emails saying, it's going to set me off. We get all of these emails saying, I didn't know there was so many of us. And I didn't know. I had so many people who felt like I feel. And uh, it is overwhelming, you know. <laughs> so please know that you're not on your own. We are many. I'm going to smudge my makeup now. And we are stronger together. Come on, St George's Day. Come on.